What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Austin the Great, back again with another video. Yo, we got another defensive video for you guys, the second in the series. Last time we went over the stop in that blow by, but now we're gonna be talking about playing the passing lanes and the importance of being able to switch on and off ball so that you can get into those passing lanes and get steals and fast break points like a lot of the comp players or anybody good that you go against is gonna be able to get into your passing lanes and create opportunities for steals for themselves. If you follow my Twitter or YouTube, you know that I, I lost a lot of my footage, but I was able to capture a lot more for you guys. And we're actually going to be going over a way to practice playing the passing lanes using a zone defense that I created specifically to help myself more with passing lane stuff. And honestly, because the defense is just havoc. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play a 1-3-1 modified defense and it makes you have to play the passing lane. So you'll be able to practice your passing lanes to use for man to man by using the principles that you learn from the one, three, one that we'll go over here. But right now we just got some man to man footage showing you that I do use a lot of this stuff when I'm playing man to man too. But what we're gonna be going over to practice this will be one, three, one based. We're gonna be going to 2KU to show you how to get this broken down and how to set it up. And as you can see, this is a very long video. I broke down tons of footage. It's gonna be very detailed, explaining all different types of scenarios, how to use it, where to move, what players to use, you know, where you should be looking on the court. I wanted to make it very detailed so that you guys fully understand it. And you know, some people still won't believe, you know, that it's gonna work. So I'm telling you, I get every unlimited reward. I got Galaxy Opal, Julius Irvin, and I actually went and went 12 and 0 with this defense two full times in a row before I decided to put this video out because I know it works for the purpose that we're using it for. If you're a budget player, some of the new cards that just came out will be able to help you and you really want somebody at your power forward spot that has good speed. I can't stress that enough, your power forward has to have good speed because the place we're putting him at, he's gonna be needed to be able to move around the court quickly. There's tons of different power forwards out there, Amethyst, Ruby, that do have 80 to 85 speed, which is good enough. But the king of them all, if you're able to get this card, is Giannis. If you have pink diamond Giannis and you have him at your power forward spot, you're gonna be pretty golden with this defense. Like I said, there's others, but this dude has 95 speed and 95 acceleration. So he moves around the court like a complete demon, like literally from one end of the court to the other in like two seconds, he's gonna be able to get in those passing lanes easily and help your defense out. But of course, the more the merrier, right? So if you have other cards, like this Bill Russell. He's also super fast for his position. He's a center with 88 speed and 87 acceleration. So he's gonna be playing the back end. Then you can have guys like Ben Simmons, who's also really quick. Josh Smith, um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has like 86 speed as well. And they're able to just move around the court quickly and cover ground and then contest shots in the weak spot openings that we're gonna be showing you. Again, Ben Simmons is another one with 95 speed and like 95 acceleration. So if you want to throw him in there at the power forward spot, but he's also good at the point guard just to have another tall player with wingspan for that passing lane um, interception. Then the badges you're going to be looking for for some of the players on your court. The more of these players that have these badges, the better. So interceptor, intimidator, lightning reflexes. Intimidator only because if you're jumping out to a shot, closing out to contest, you want them to have a good chance of missing and then obviously intercept their lightning, lightning reflexes because you want them to be able to steal passes and move quickly on the court. But let's check out how quick this dude Giannis moves on the court. I mean, I control him when I'm using this defense about 40% of the time and I'm, then I'm switching around to somebody else. But he's able to close out on shots. He's able to get into passing lanes and he's able to move up and down the court so fast. It makes being able to play defense easier. Even in, in uh, play now, his regular card, his regular, you know, the real player Giannis is just insanely fast. So again, you don't have to use Giannis, but he's a good player to have. Now let's go over the defensive settings that you're gonna be setting specifically for this defense. You wanna set your drive help to no. Reason why you don't want people crashing in all the time and your screen help is gonna be no as well. Now. They don't always listen. Y'all know CPU and all these settings sometimes don't work at all. But 
force direction, you also want to be baseline. Now, this is only if you are going full 1-3-1 the whole time. If you're going to be playing a man-to-man -man anytime throughout the game, you don't want to be forcing baseline because you know that you're going to drive baseline and go to the basket, as we saw in the blow-by video. The key here to create the most pressure possible, anybody that's going to be bringing the ball up the court, you want to set their extend pressure to yes. I put it one through four. The point guard through the power forward, I put on yes, unless they have a center like Magic Johnson that Amethyst Magic, I'll put him on yes too. And I'll explain to you why we do that once we get to it. All right, so after we get this basket with Giannis, we're gonna get into our defense. You wanna be selecting the three, two zone as your main defense. Three, two zone. Then you're gonna head back with your power forward. And as you can see with that extend pressure right there, no matter who's bringing up the ball, your point guard or your shooting guard or small forward is going to meet them before half court, which is going to create that 1-3-1 one, one look. As you can see here, I have Giannis in the middle of the paint. Bledsoe is guarding the ball, and now I'm in the middle protecting the paint, and we have one in the front, three in the middle, and then your center is protecting the basket at the back side. So pretty much we use the 3-2 zone to create a hybrid 1-3-1 one, one zone defense. When you're running any kind of defense like this, the corners are going to be weak points and so are the wings, like that middle or wing area, extended elbows. That's where your opponent's gonna be looking to get the ball and where you really wanna pay attention to baiting to get steals and easy turnovers. All right, so now let's cover the key factors of this defense and what's gonna make you successful or unsuccessful when running this. So the first thing is you must know how to switch between all players on the court. You got to learn your players' icons, know who the shooting guard, point guard, power forward is, and be able to switch to them quickly. Understand baiting in how to make opponent think something is open and it's really not, you're there. Or you may not be right in that area, but if an opponent is in the corner, they have somebody open in the corner, you're in the middle of the paint, just understanding that you can still get that steal, and a lot of people don't understand that. So stay in between the ball and the man and knowing the weak points. As long as you're in between ball and man, you're good forces your opponent to rush they're going to be trying to rush some passes especially if they're not patient and if they're not patient forces them into steals and turnovers that are going to lead into fast breaks but you will give up some open looks just understand you will be giving up open looks in this defense so without further ado let's just get into the full defense break down some gameplay against the cpu and the scrimmage against the lakers then we're going to be showing you guys some unlimited examples as you can see we're meeting them at half court, putting the pressure on them right away, and then we're controlling that lane with Giannis. Right away, the left corner and the right corner we see has openings, so we're going to be in that passing lane with Giannis right now on the right side. Brooke has the left side covered. Now we got some pop-out action happening. They're running the play. On the left side, Middlebrook has that, or Middleton has that, and then I cover it with Giannis for a second. Then I switch over to Middleton to make sure he gets out on Danny Green because he's the better shooter out there. So I switch over to Danny Green. Now I'm in that passing lane. Switch back over to Giannis, keep him in his spot. And now we force them inside. Again, we're still all over the passing lanes. It looks crowded, but everywhere on the court, I'm paying attention to to see who's popping open. We have LeBron on the left, Danny Green out in the center. So now I'm gonna stand in between Danny Green and Avery Bradley. If they make that pass to either one of them, I'm already in that passing lane and I can get the steal. And you can actually press steal and register it before they make the pass and your player will still get the steal. We force a bad shot, we get the rebound, and then we're gonna be off to the fast break. Second play up the court, Bledsoe meets LeBron, puts that pressure on him right there again in the middle. I have Giannis control in the middle of the court. I see that the left corner is going to be open. Middleton steps over, so then I retreat back to my spot in the middle. On the right side, you see Danny Green starting to go towards the corner. In this situation, you have to make a decision. You can cover it with Giannis or your power forward, or what I like to do is actually back up with the guard, and I get a lot of steals like that. So we got Middleton on the left side. I will take him and back up towards that side and then press square. And if that pass is made, it's a steal. I'm gonna show you guys some example of that happening over and over again in unlimited games. They try to make that pass, it's gonna be stolen. CPU gets the ball into the middle. I still wanna cover the corner. 
Now I'm controlling Middleton. I'm over in the corner. Make sure that they don't get that pass over there because I see the wing is already taken care of by blood so we can get out. Now we get another rebound and we get off to the fast break. Lakers come up the court again. This time I'm gonna start showing you how to actually take that pass if they do make it. So I'm in the passing lane with Middleton. I'm there. Even LeBron thinks he's open right now. If Avery Bradley goes to make that pass, it's going to be a steal because I'm in the passing lane. I don't have to be standing right next to LeBron. I am in between the ball and I'm in between the man. I'm in between LeBron, I'm in between Avery Bradley. If I press square right there, it's gonna be a steal. We get the steal. Once again, we're off to the fast break. Try to get our baskets. And this is gonna be the beauty of this defense. So many steals come off of these passes. You're gonna be able to get out to fast break. So let's show you guys this actually happening against real opponents. The same pass try to get made to the corner. I steal it with Tracy McGrady right there. A whole nother game, player comes up the court. They think they see somebody open in the corner. It's a steal and a steal that happened because I understand the weak points of the zone and I know where they're going to want to go to try to beat it. All right. So we just went over the strong side steal or the ball side steal that refers to the side of the floor where the ball is. But now we have to make sure we're taking care of the weak side and the weak side is the opposite side that the ball is on. So if the ball is on the right side of the court, how are we going to take care of the left side of the court and make sure that we're not leaving openings there? So right now, the ball's on the right side of the court. Avery Bradley's dribbling up, trying to give it to LeBron. But as you can see, JaVale McGee is on the left side corner, and then you have Danny Green on the left wing. In an unlimited game, all these guys are gonna be able to shoot. So you have to be able to go back and forth between both. And what I like to do is I bait, and I stay with the guy on the wing until I wanna make my break to go get the steal from the guy in the corner. Once I see that they're settled and they I think they saw him open, you have to be very good at anticipating. Then I go over to make sure I'm covering that spot. The CPU doesn't pass it here, but if they did, it would have been a steal. They actually get it over to Avery Bradley. And who do we have there? Giannis. He's quick, able to close out to that shot, but I had to switch to him. You got to be quick at switching to them. So right here, we got a weak side steal again. Guy thinks... Kobe's open in the corner. I bait it. Easy steal with T-Mac. We're off to the races. Get up the court. Easy dunk. Another game. Unlimited. The ball's on the left side of the court. I know he's looking far corner. I bait the wing. Then I get back to the corner. Press square. Get another steal. Off to the races once again. Another fast break three. Another game. Same thing. Guy goes to the left side of the court. I show him that I'm there. I'm pressing square with Giannis. He's not going to get that. He tries to kick it back over. Now I got Giannis again because I know he's going to that corner. Giannis is long enough to get that steal. We get another one. This time, super bait. I run over to the right side, act like I'm protecting that corner. Then I quickly switch to Lamar Odom and get a steal on the left side of the court. Calculated because we know where the opponent's going to go. Now you guys saw the steals that I got in that possession, but just notice it, go back and watch three play at how much I was switching to everyone. I was switching to Stockton, I was switching to Rondo, and I was making sure I'm covering all bases. And then when I think that opening is there for the corner, then I switch to it. I'm not just only watching the corner because then the wings are gonna be open. You gotta switch to everybody. But now we're gonna just talk about some of the pressure that you get on this. When you get this ball pressure because of that extended pressure on these guards and forwards, you're gonna get the, def the offensive player is going to always just be looking up the court trying to pass the ball up. And that's what's going to be leading to that steal. If you don't extend the pressure, they're going to have too much time to see who's open. That's why I like to extend pressure to make them rush. Then as you can see right there with Middleton, I'm always hitting that square. I'm daring you to pass it because I want you to know that I'm in those lanes so that you're not able to get an easy pass. Now you're thinking. You have to sit there just like the CPU is doing. You have to sit there and go, man, who's open? Who's open? Who can I get the ball to? All while the shot clock is going down and all types of things are happening on the court. So right here in this position, I could use Giannis, but I actually didn't because I didn't want to give the baseline away. So I'm switching between Bledsoe and Middleton to cover those outside passes and leaving Giannis to be able to defend in case he goes around that screen, he's in his original spot. But I could have just stood there in the middle with Giannis, and if they try to make that cross-call pass, I can steal it with Giannis. 
But now since he's able to defend that pick and roll, they have to go back towards the other side. I'm there with Middleton in case they go to the corner. And now I also have Bledsoe right there in the middle. I'm backing up with him if I need to, to be able to steal this pass if they pass it out that way. They make the pass, I hit square, I get the steal. So again, everybody on the court is covered. As long as you know everybody's icon, how to switch to everyone and what's open, you will be able to get tons of pass and lane steals. And this will teach you how to switch over to man to man and then see things from an easier way because everybody's covering someone and you'll be able to know more of what lanes you want to take away. This zone makes you have to do it. So it's just very good practice for it. I highly recommend practicing using this just to get yourself a condition of how do I play the passing lanes better. And then aside from just the passing lane and disrupting the passing lanes, the pressure that you're able to put on the ball with that extend pressure, and if you put smother on ball defense smother, they're gonna stay so close that if they try to drive through without passing the ball, if they try to drive through with LeBron and get a dunk, or if they try that behind the back, how they do an unlimited over and over to try to get into the lane, you're gonna be able to defend that too because driving through this is gonna create steals because your defenders are so close. So right here, I'm baiting forward again with Middleton showing them that I'm there for that, that pass if they make it in the corner. LeBron trails to go around the screen that AD set to get over to the left side. Middleton is gonna be right there. I press steal and now I'm stealing it from the ball handler because he's trying to go between two defenders. So not only are the passing lane steals gonna be there, you're gonna be able to get steals on anyone that's trying to drive through multiple defenders. This defense is really gonna make your opponent have to shoot lots of threes to score, and they're gonna have to rely on the threes to score. And if you're able to cut those three-point passing lanes off, that's gonna just help you a lot more. Now, I will say, you live by defending the three, you're gonna die by this and die by having the bait because you're gonna leave some spots open. They're gonna get some eventual open spots and you're gonna see some greens, a lot of greens going in and you're gonna have to decide, man, do I wanna play man to man or do I wanna stay with this? This defense is not good if the game is close and you really need a stop. I like playing this if I'm already up five and my opponent is feeling the pressure or if I'm up 10 or 15 and my opponent's feeling the pressure and then they gotta really start, they start rushing their shots and all that stuff. But if they're a very comfortable player and they're patient, you might not wanna run this. I definitely wanted to say that before this video ended because I don't want you guys thinking that this defense is just gonna make you win every game. This defense is gonna up your pressure. This defense is gonna make you better at switching players and playing passing lanes. And it is gonna create havoc for a lot of people that you play against. But this is not a win-all, do-all defense that's going to make you stop every single person you come against. There's going to be comp players that are just very patient, very good. If you play against me and you run this and I start understanding what you're doing, I'm going to be very smart and just pick it apart. So you have to be very choosy. Run a man and then switch to this. Switch to a 2-3 and then switch to man and then switch to this like every third possession just to create some havoc. But don't think this is going to help you win every single game. As you can see, the CPU even starts hitting some greens. They start getting wide open and hitting shots. I'm getting stuck behind players and not being able to get out there. But for the most part, we're still winning by a ton of points. So y'all just enjoy the rest of the unlimited gameplay. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit me up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Let me know what else I can do to help you guys out. I'm gonna let the video play out for the rest of entirety, just unlimited, showing you guys how the defense works against different people. If you choose to run this defense, definitely let me know how it works out for you in the comments. And definitely let me know how you're getting better at playing the passing lanes. It's definitely important if you want to be a comp player or be better at the game. But all right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.